guys, it's the color of boom here and today we're going to the Al Hafeya Mountain Conservation Center. Uh, never been before, we just recently went to a talk where this guy who's apparently in charge of it talked about it a bit and so we, we were interested so we're on our way there and uh, yeah well, just let's just jump right into it and we'll see you guys there. Hey guys, so we just got here basically uh, and we just walked into the exhibition area. Just thought I'd make a little video to let you guys know, even though of course you saw us walking in. But these, they've got little coffee bean chairs <laughs> that we're sitting on. And uh, yeah, the hyena place is right behind me. There are, <coughs> there are actually, let me see if I can get you to see them, they're kind of high up. But you can see, I'm gonna zoom in, and hopefully you can kind of tell. See the little mound, the hyenas. Oh wow, you can really see them. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know my camera was this good. Aw, hyena lick himself. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, we're gonna move on to the rest of the museum, and uh, see you guys there. So, we just finished with the main exhibition stuff. There's some more few things lying around that we're going to be looking at. And then uh, there's supposed to be a, a car tour that's going to take us out to like the places for like where they let out the animals. And there's like like really huge wide expanses, not in this like zoo fashion. Uh, so, but we were a little bit late to get here, so we're not sure if it'll still be available, if they'll still take us out there. But uh, we're gonna check and see, and if not, I'll let you guys know in the car, and if so, then you'll see us there. Hey guys, so, um, <clears throat> there was, in fact, time for us to take the ride, but there were, like, only three places that we were, uh, that we looked at, and, I don't know, some of, one, a couple of the animals were inside getting fed, and it just wasn't very uh, a good place to get good shots. So I didn't really get any video of it, but uh, we still had fun, and <laughs> me and Nim. And yeah, uh, we're gonna head back home now, and I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, we just got back from the El, from Al Hafeya Mountain Conservation Center. The Al Hafeya doesn't really work because El in Arabic is the, so whatever. Al Hafeya Mountain Conservation Center. Um, in it's in Kalba, which is an area in Sharjah, I believe. Pretty sure. Um, so yes, very very nice. Um, as with most like centers or museums or places like that in Sharjah. It's, it was very well done. Sharjah does a really good job of that. Uh, so it was all very modern looking and very well arranged and everything. Uh, and there are some 
It is one of the, it's, it's, it's sort of like a zoo, but also not. I mean, it, it's like, uh, it was built to try and harbor these endangered animals or rarer species that are from Arabia and try to, you know, uh, keep them going, keep them alive, so to speak. So they have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, endangered animals there, but they have been put on display in a zoo type manner, but it's mainly meant to bring up awareness. Otherwise they'd be kept, you know, whatever locked away, just uh, what, you know, in their own area. And they're constantly, the area they have right now is very, is very nice, very big area. Um, <clears throat> bigger than a lot of the zoos here, which is good. Um, and we talked to the, uh, we actually went to a lecture. I think I mentioned in the video a little while ago, uh, at the start of the video. We went to a lecture a little while ago about the place that the guy, the guy who's in charge was giving the lecture. And, uh when he was talking about it he was saying that they're constantly looking for more open area and when certain animals become older or less active or whatever they they try to find a nice um, a bigger area secluded from civilization or whatever to put them in and more wild animals as well and stuff like that that they don't keep in the zoo so that's really cool it's like a really nice thing that they're trying to do and they're trying to build awareness for the little kids yeah, but anyways, that's all I really had to say. Uh, I thought it was very nice. Uh, the golf cart, the tour where they drive around is a good idea, but there's not a whole lot to see really. It's like the zoo, the inside is like almost like a circle and it takes you by all the enclosures and then the golf cart ride just takes you around on the opposite side of all the enclosures. So it's nothing amazing, but they have a few like viewing towers that give you like a nice look over the land as well. So it's, you know, nothing to complain about. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, I really, I thought the place was very nice. I would definitely suggest going there. Um, lots of information about how to get there and everything will be in the blog, which you should check out. Hey, check out the blog. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-